What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. How's it going, everyone, and welcome to episode 51 of the Lost Media Podcast. Today, we're talking about Mean Girls DS, the unreleased, unfinished DS game. Uh, This was pretty uninteresting for a lot of time. Uh, It wasn't until the internet got hold of this and realized, where the hell is this game? This is the only Nintendo DS game. In fact, this is the most elusive video game almost in history that no one has ever found, and it is completely lost. Uh, I'm going to go through the entire timeline that is straight off my memory again. I don't have notes for a podcast once again because I just don't want to be staring at a screen reading out stuff. I did that for the Star Wars Lost Media episode and I did that for the SpongeBob one, I think. And it's just not as good. Um, I like doing my research properly and just talking the shit of what I can remember in a podcast that's continuous without just obviously just reading off a screen. It's not really my style. I've decided it's not going to deliver the greatest content. Um, I want to talk about everything I know about this. I do know a great deal about this, but you guys can add any information I missed out in the comments section. Um, So sit back and enjoy the story of Mean Girls DS. This caught wind on the internet around the mid 2010s. Uh, It might have been early 2010s, actually. Um, I actually, okay, I don't actually know when it caught wind on the internet. All I know is that there was just the DV- the DVD cover, the game cover art of the three supporting cast in Mean Girls DS. No Lindsay Lohan. I'll get to that in a second why she's not on the front cover. And that's all there was. There was just the cover of the Nintendo DS game for a while. And then I think in early 2016, screenshots of the game were leaked. And up until these screenshots were released, everyone's like, this is a fake game. This is not real. It's a bit of a troll. It's like a day with SpongeBob SquarePants. All there is is a picture. And that's it. There's nothing else. Um, it's very vague. Uh, can I just point out that this game would have had zero interest whatsoever if there was even a handful of or well, a thousand copies out there? Because someone would have just uploaded the ROM uh, in the early days of the search and then it would have been over and everyone was like, oh, okay. No one would have cared. But because this just kept being so elusive, uh, it was a very confusing one. Um so people upload these screenshots and they look a bit like they're fan made. They look real ish, they look real enough, but they look kind of fan made. And I think, in my opinion, I remember when I was researching this back in the day and I was interested in this piece of lost media, I thought it was very fake. I thought this was complete bullshit. Um, and I thought this was. Someone just trying to start a hoax and doing a really good job at making a fake Nintendo DS cover, um, game cover, and also doing a really good job to make those screenshots uh, from the game or to make some little test demo game creation and then get those screenshots. But a lot of people are like, no, this fits the bill of a really cheap garbage Nintendo DS game and it must be real. And the people who thought it was real were correct. Oh my god. Uh, there was a guy who was so bad. There was a guy who posted uh, on an online forum and said, I remember seeing this in a local shop for $5 and we bought the Kirby game instead of this because um, we just thought it looked like crap. And, my, and then he adds to his comment and says, oh, my brother just corrected. Uh, I asked him in the, the next room. Yes, he remembers this as well. And everyone was like, all right, dude. Okay. All right. All right. Whatever. Um, and of course, you know, people at the time still think it's fake. I mean, but it's not guys, it's not a fake game. And the YouTuber Ray Mona proved after a long time of researching this, after a long time of looking for it, that it is not fake. Um, unfortunately, there's more to this that makes it very disappointing. Uh, if you go to the Lost Media Wiki while you're listening to this or watching this, you will see that it still says Lost next to Mean Girls DS, uh, the the picture on the Lost Media Wiki. Um, it is still Lost, technically. To get to that, though, we have to explain what kind of happened. Uh, Ray Mona was searching for this for a while, and I don't know if she was in contact with someone or if someone just randomly sent her an email. 
but she did get an email and at the bottom of the email it said mean girls nds short for nintendo ds and she was like no way no way this this is this it is this the game and so she clicked on it and she played mean girls ds it was the real game uh she uploaded an hour and a half's worth around of gameplay footage uh but the game was a giant bug if you were to try and play this uh just normally you can't get past the first mini game it's that buggy uh, she did go through a lot of the mini games and talk about all of them in detail in her documentaries i recommend watching them um however there's an unfortunate twist to this uh she played the game mean girls ds you know she uploaded the gameplay footage she talks about all the mini games everything's there it's a real game we find out that it's genuine uh however she says that she can't release it because there's too many bugs and there's copyright issues. Now, I understand the copyright issues. Uh, I don't quite understand the too many bugs. Uh, if you release it wide to a widespread community, there are probably people that are so uh, skilled that they could take the game and fix it, maybe. I know that sounds a lot very unlikely and you probably have to be extremely talented in working on game development to be able to fix Mean Girls of the S. Uh, but releasing it to a widespread audience, you know, you never know what could happen with the game. It might be repaired. You might, everyone, everyone gets to play it, obviously, not just the YouTuber. And the copyright issues, who cares, you know? You know, you could get sued, but considering the copyright owners of this game have said nothing about it since the internet search has started and since everyone started talking about it, the copyright issues are probably not going to come into play. And you got to have a bit of balls in this industry. You got to have some kahunas. You got to be willing to help you gotta be willing to give the fans their fan service and a lot of people wanted to play this game my god everyone wanted to play it i just was interested in the lost search i didn't really want to play mean girls ds the game it was i knew it was going to be shit but i wanted it to be found um so it's one of those irritating pieces of lost media in my opinion that is not lost it's found uh but it can't be uploaded due to copyright and bugs which in my opinion is a ginormous crop cop out i'm sorry if any ray mona fans are watching this uh but i i'm just giving my genuine opinion this game should have been just po just dumped online by her uh because seriously like you're not going to get in trouble from anyone no one's gonna no one's gonna sue i don't think anyone cares uh you just post it and you never know what can happen who cares if you can't get past the first mini game and it's that bugged uh if you post it, you never know if someone... It probably is hard to toggle an existing um, ROM that you can't probably edit and you can't fix yourself and it just is there. Uh, but just to have it playable for the public on like a website, like somewhere, who cares? You know, just people want to people want to see how real this game is, not just your gameplay footage. And it just makes... It just adds a bit of skepticism, even though I believe it is 100% real and she was playing the real Mean Girls DS that was the failed development that wasn't released. Um, she still get led to confusion that maybe this was actually made up. Maybe someone made this to be a very convincing fake Mean Girls DS and she's just playing someone's ROM that they put together in association with her or just send it to her um and that's why it's bugged i don't think that's the case at all you can write off that theory almost entirely i'm just putting that out there that it leads to people thinking that when she's not willing to post it that's not the case in my opinion my the case is that this should have been it should have been dumped on the internet doesn't matter how buggy it is doesn't matter as i said first mini game doesn't mean shit people just fix that people just play that um yeah it really annoys me but anyway um it's nice to see gameplay footage, but I completely understand any fan, any person, any Lost Media Wikian who's been looking for this uh, for quite some time and been waiting patiently for its release. Uh, the game's just sitting there in the hands of this Lost Media YouTuber. And uh, there's not enough. And she's made a lot of videos about it, so you'd think she'd be really, really confident and really excited about it to post it to online and get everyone seen. And she did... She did preface that she really, really wanted to share this. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's like cracks. I think someone's got to pay her a lot of money for it. It's like the uh, 
other lost game from Super Nintendo, the Bill Clinton and his cat game. I don't know what it's called. Uh, you guys can correct me in the comments what it's called. But someone paid a shithead loser video game cr uh, collector. I'm calling him a loser video game collector. I love video game collectors. I love a lot of their collections. I say this guy's a loser because he wasn't willing to share it with anyone. And he trolled people by showing fake gameplay footage off a screen in his little basement at home living with his parents. Uh by the way, this show is definitely not recorded in my basement at home while I'm living with my parents. No <laughs> way. Um, yeah, so this video game collector uh, did this. Uh, they're all like this. I'm sorry. They're all the same. They just, they love their exclusive collection. They want to be the special little snowflake. Uh, and it just is stupid. Like, no one cares. And the guy that bought it, I think he shared it online. I think the game became found. Uh or he planned to sell it for $50 and everyone was like, dude, seriously, you're trying to profit off a game you didn't even make, something that you just bought. You're just trying to make money in this little scheme of yours. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It should have just been dumped online the same way Mean Girls DS should have just been dumped online. Uh, but it is so frustrating, I can say, from a fan's perspective after years of just screenshots and just that cover, that front cover of Mean Girls DS, um, that this wasn't released. I should mention the front cover. The three supporting characters are there. Presumably, this is not confirmed by the game's creator or anyone. Uh, presumably, Lindsay Lohan was on the front cover, but then she was removed from other versions of the game, uh, the more prominent version with the actual front cover uh, because of all the controversies uh, around the time. And Mean Girls DS, guys, was meant to be released in 2008 because... They had a deal with Paramount Studios where they wanted to release a lot of their properties on Nintendo DS. And it's four years after the movie's release. Who's going to want to play this? That's why it wasn't released. That's why the game was finished or well, unfinished because it's so buggy. And uh, no one cared to release it. And they were just like, oh, this is just no. What's the point? Uh, and that's why it was half released i guess you could say because gamestop and a lot of game stores had it in their databases they've got it there and gamestop contacted or some people contacted gamestop and a lot of game stores so much to get explanation from them and they responded this game was unfinished and never released oh no they didn't say unfinished but they said this game was never released um and it was never sent to our stores it's just there in the database uh that's all we know about it sorry I just, uh, yeah, these these stories are, are crazy because it, it was, what was it, like five years? Five years of people. I think it, the screenshots were released in 2016 and then the gameplay was released by Ray Mona in 2021. So it's a long time of people, other people really obsessing over this. And I can imagine, like I said, many times in this podcast, I hate repeating myself. I understand people's disappointment in not being able to play this uh, completely. Um. That's all there really is to it from Mean Girls DS. I wasn't going to point out all the mini games. Raymona does that in her video. And I wasn't going to point out all the little all the little other details to Mean Girls DS. They're the details I know off the top of my head. Uh, and they're the ones I wanted to speak about in a podcast format. Um, but yes, watch other videos on the Mean Girls DS search. And the full kind of rabbit hole of how this was found as well as in Raymona's video. Um, but I do understand if you're pissed off that she won't release the damn game because <laughs> it should be released. Um, yeah. Anyway, it happens. These things happen, you know, it's frustrating. It's, I think someone commented on my video recently, isn't it frustrating when there's media that's been found, but someone just won't bloody dump it online and release it. And I 100% agree. It is so annoying. Mm -hmm. So technically, it's still lost, but it's not lost. On the Lost Media Wiki page, it says, technically, Mean Girls DS is still lost. It's not. It's really not. Someone has it. Uh, lost Media should be literally no one has said they had it or shown really good evidence to suggest they have it or concrete evidence. If someone's shown concrete evidence to say they've got Lost Media, I'm sorry. It's not lost. It's not. I sound like a complete douche. Uh, anyway. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it there because that's pretty much, that is all there is to it with Mean Girls DS. It's just a great big disappointment uh, <laughs> and it's a really sad search. Maybe we'll see it one day leaked online. Uh, maybe it will be finally uploaded with all the patches fixed. Who knows? All the bugs, sorry. Um, maybe there'll be a DLC in-game, <laughs> it'll be in-game purchases so you can get the next uh, mini game, uh, <laughs> each of them. Uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's so stupid.
Mean Girls DS. My God. Um, I was I just remembered another detail to this of how people found out it was real and how I believed it was real. And that was the Santa, I think, the stupid Santa dresses and Santa hat uh, mini game that resembled the scene. And a lot of the other mini games kind of don't resemble things from the movie, but that re- resembled pretty closely the movie. And it just it just looked authentically a really shitty Nintendo DS game made, developed in a really crap, lazy way around the time. So, yeah, that's all there is. To- I'm not going to add anything more, though, because it's just a cesspool. And it actually kind of annoys me that this is- hasn't been released. But anyway, I've said the same thing too many times in this podcast, guys. Can I reiterate? These are podcasts. They're not proper videos. They're not edited. I do them all in one go. It is not easy, but I feel like I've done my research for these topics. I'm going to try to avoid reading off a screen. If it's dot points and something needs a lot of dot points, uh, and I know I dot points, and I know I won't be able to remember everything for the podcast, then yes, I um I'll use dot points. But these two times, I want to remember all my knowledge. Uh, this episode's gone way over time. Check out the Omni Talk podcast. It's hilarious. New episodes uploaded every Wednesday morning in Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, I know a lot of my viewers, I just made a noise in the mic again. I know a lot of my viewers are American. Uh, so that'll probably be uploaded sometime during the day, actually, and not in the morning, uh, like it is here. They're hilarious. I'm not doing a good job to sell it, am I? It's the Omni Radio YouTube channel. It's the Omni Talk podcast. It's in the description. It's in the end screen of this video. Check it out in a few seconds. Goodbye. The end. Goodbye, guys. Oh, 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 oh,